Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your tarot reading for the sun sign of Aquarius for the month of May 2017. So let's see what's going on for my lovely Aquarians for the month of May. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, blessed month. Again, this is just a general reading. This will not um, relate to everyone. You may not even relate to it all. That's why I'm working on my own personal website. I hope to get it up this year so I can offer video um, private readings for you guys that need a more in-depth reading. I'm also working on a wolf tarot deck. I hope to have it out sometime this year. Um, I'll probably have some sort of crowdfunder or razor for that so I can get the cards made. I just need to get a demo deck made to see which company I'm going to go with with printing. But I'm very excited about that. It's been a long process that I've been working on over a year. So, let's see what's going on with Aquarius. My lovely Aquarians. Wishing you much luck and success. What are you trying to balance? Hmm. What are you juggling and but trying to balance with it? Oh, let's see. I don't know. Okay, of course, you got the Two of Pentacles. We know that this card is a juggling, uh, juggling card. Uh, so it can be flexibility, uh, fun, change. Um, you're trying to find equilibrium in the midst of change. You may be trying to adapt to a new circumstance. Uh, some of you could be having a change in financial matters and some of you may be having unstable moods so you've got something juggling something um, with Aquarius and you are thoughts and intellect so what I'm thinking this is going to have to do with is business something with financial matters with your job that you are trying to find some kind of balance. You got too many things up. Some of you have too many things up in the air. So many. Uh, some of you are just trying to keep up with something new, some different, some kind of change that's coming you in your life for some of you. Whether it's a new work, because you do have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you're juggling something. And you will find, you will be able to balance it out this month in May. Whatever, whatever you're juggling. Um, I definitely see you finding balance and you're not going to be juggling as much in the month of May. You're going to find that equilibrium, that balance that you need. Now you may have to go and take some time out by yourself with the hermit to find this balance. You're going to have to have some patience. Um, you're going to have to have a little bit of solitude to think about how you're going to get this um, balance that you need and to quit juggling all these things that you're juggling. For some of you, it's just going to be a period of spiritual and intellectual personal development. You need some quiet time. Um, for some of you, it's going to be a spiritual advance, a divine inspiration. When you spend that time alone, you, it's going to come to you. The answers are going to come to you. You just need to be um, intent on self-reflection or meditation. 
or for yourself so you can get the answers you need. I'm thinking this is going to have to do with your your money because you've got the the eight of pinnacles and when this is um uh, uh what they call the talent card apprentice card you're paying not uh detail to what you're doing and you're trying to turn whatever it is into something profitable This could be a new employment that you're trying to get used to. You're juggling. You're, you're trying to figure it all out. It could be a new job. Um, a, a new business is what I'm saying. A new venture. A new business that you're going in that you're juggling. A lot of stuff. You're learning a new business or a new profession. And you're trying to juggle too much at once. With learning. I don't know if you're trying to learn everything at once. But you really need to find balance there in this. This is also a material reward card. Um, this is all. It could also mean. When you're going into that deep meditation. Or retreat solitude. This is also a spiritual card. This is also a spiritual card. So some of you could be advancing in the spiritual uh, to a next spiritual uh, level. To the next spiritual level for some of you. This also is a spiritual card. It's not only uh, uh, dealing with employment or work or job. Um, but some of you are going into a new business, a new profession that you're trying to learn. And you will learn it. You will um, master it. Right now you're just an apprentice. But you will master it. You've got also got the king of wands. And this person. Uh, whether you know this person or, or I'm talking about you yourself. It's charming. Um, this person is... Adventurous, self-confident, passionate, can be uh, daring and swift sometimes. Because this is a fire sign. It's the wands. It's the king of wands. And it doesn't matter whether you're male or female. Again, this is a general reading. Um, you can be a warm friend to some people. To your family and friends. Nice, generous, compassionate. Um, and this also can mean a change for you. Meaning some of you guys are going to be traveling this month. And I've got this for every sign. Travel, travel, travel for the month of May. Could be a change in your environment or travel. I don't care if you're just going to the next town over to see friends or family this month in May. There is travel for you. And that's what I'm thinking this card is relating to. Definitely traveling or change in environment. Uh, some of you guys may even be moving to a new residence for some. But definitely everyone, I think this is a, you know, just taking a vacation, a short trip, even if it's just for the weekend. Out of town, out of state, out of the country. But I definitely see travel. And I've seen it with every uh, sun sign I've did so far. It's traveling this month in May. So there you go, Aquarius. I hope you enjoy this. Love each and every one of you. Blessings, my friend.